To keep you informed, Listín Diario, the newspaper of Dominicans, presents the most important news of the day. Front page news for Thursday, September 19th, 2024. With the proposal that the Modern Revolutionary Party, PRM, block of deputies will present to the executive leadership of the political organization to reduce only 20 deputies from the National Congress, the provinces of Santo Domingo, the National District, Santiago, and San Cristobal could be the four most impacted by this measure. The top leadership of the Modern Revolutionary Party has accepted its block of deputies proposal, which suggests limiting the reduction in the House of Representatives to 20 seats instead of the 53 originally proposed by President Luis Abinader in his request for constitutional reform. The Centers for Diagnostics, Advanced Medicine, Medical Conferences, and Telemedicine, CEDIMAT, celebrated the 25th anniversary of their founding yesterday with a mass and a ceremony where they reflected on their years of service. Businessman Jose Luis Corripio Estrada, vice president of CEDIMAT, expressed that none of the visionary dreams of Dr. Juan Manuel Taveras Rodriguez would have been possible without the invaluable presence and key management of Cardinal Nicolas Lopez Rodriguez, who played a decisive role in the creation of this important medical institution. A total of 3,636 patients with the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, are receiving care at the comprehensive care unit located in the maternal and child hospital Nuestra Señora de la Altagracia in Higüey. The Monte Grande Dam, initially conceived as a project to develop the southwestern region and bring over 700,000 acres into production, has instead become a source of desperation and suffering for 560 families from the provinces of Azua and Barahona. The Ministry of Public Works and Communications announced that the Juan Bosch Bridge will undergo diagnostic testing and analysis next Saturday to assess its operating conditions. The second wave of reforms through which the government seeks to optimize public spending will begin with a single integrated virtual office where the use of artificial intelligence, AI, will be key for data cross-referencing. For Listin Diario, voiceover and translation by Danny Leon. To keep you informed, Listin Diario, the newspaper of Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.